In this presentation, I am going to show you how you can use a Groovy business rule to replace the web form validation rule. You can use a Groovy business rule to be used to format the background color of your web forms based on any certain criteria that you choose. We're going to first create our Groovy business rule. So from within Calc Manager, I'll create my new business rule. I will change my design mode to edit mode. And then for my script type, I will change it from Calc Script to Groovy. And now I'm ready to begin scripting my Groovy business rule. We'll copy in our Groovy syntax into our business rule. The grid editor will check all the cells for anything that is missing will be red. Anything with a value of above or below 50,000 will be yellow. Anything above 50,000 will be green. And once we've got that set in, we're now ready to save and deploy our business rule. Here on this slide is a much larger and legible version of the Groovy syntax that we copied into the business rule. And as well as I provided a website in which you can look at an example of some of the color codes too as well, if you decide to use a different color code than what's in this presentation. In our third step, we associate the business rule to the web form. So we find the rule that we just created, add it to the form, and then select the run after load, and then select finish to save the form. And last, when we open up our web form, we can review our results. Any cell with missing data is shaded with red. All cells that have data below 50,000 have a yellow shade, and then all cells with data above 50,000 have a green shade. 